what's up everybody welcome to my channel in this video today i will be sharing with you how you can get started with investing with jn fund managers i will be showing you how you can open your account online step by step and how you can purchase your first stock once you have received your jcsd number from your financial advisor in order to open your account you're going to need some documents the first one is proof of identification for this you can use your driver's license, your passport, or your national ID. The second piece of document you're going to need is your proof of address. For this, you can use your bank statement or a utility bill. And this should be no more than three months old. The third piece of document you're going to need is your tax registration number or TRN. If you are outside of Jamaica, then you'll need an equivalent tax ID. So for example, in the United States, you would need your social security number, aka SSN. Now the fourth thing you're going to need is not really documents per se, but you're going to need some references. So this can be a minister of religion, a principal, a JN fund manager client that has been with them for more than two years. You can also use a doctor or a lawyer. I don't want when you start to invest, you start seeing some fees that you're not aware of. When you're purchasing stocks, you're going to have to pay some fees. So if you're going to purchase the stocks yourself with JN, it's 0.5%. But if they're going to be doing it on your behalf, then it's going to be 2%. So it's good to take a DYI approach. There will also be a CES fee of 0.32% and also a GCT of 0.03%. So now that you're aware of the documents and the fees, now it's time to go over to JN Fund Manager's website and open your account. The link will be in the description of this video. Then once you're there, select open account. Select become a client. Select individual. If you're over 18, select yes. Complete your first and last name. Provide your email address information. And then select next. Complete your mobile phone number. Complete the verification process. Yes, I am not a robot. Then select get started. So the next step is to check your email address that you provided. So you should receive an email and when you click the link in that email, it should take you to the screen and then provide the verification code that was sent to your mobile phone. Once you provide the verification code, select continue. Select complete your individual profile. It gives you an overview of the information that you will need. So here you have two options, new client requirements. So let's find out what the existing client requirements is all about. So if you're an existing customer, you're going to need your JN Fund Manager's account number, your tax identification number, and the email associated with your JN Fund Manager's account. And if you're a new client, you need to provide your photo ID, tax ID, and proof of address. So select new client and continue. So I'm not a client, so I'm gonna select no to continue. Take your title, select next, complete your date of birth. Once that is done, select next, select your gender, select your marital status. Do you have any dependents? Yes or no? Select your country which your ID was issued and then specify that number. Then select next. Select your country of citizenship. Select next. What's your nationality? I'm a Jamaican, so I'm going to select next. What's your country of birth? Jamaica. Then select the type of identification that you will be providing. So I'm going to select driver's license. Once you provide your ID information, select next to continue. Complete your residential address and then select next. Do you want to add a mailing address? Yes or no? Yes, I want to add one. So I'm going to add a mailing address. Select next to continue. Select your employment status. Once you have completed your employment status, select next to continue. Select your annual gross income in Jamaican dollars. Select your net worth in Jamaican dollars. Select your main source of income. Then select next. What is the source of your wealth? You can select whatever applies to you. Then select next to proceed. Are you a recipient of overseas income? Select yes or no. Then select next to continue. Will there be a giant account holder? If you're going to open an account with someone, you can say yes. In my case, no. What is your expected transaction frequency? I'm going to go with monthly. 
what is your monthly expected transaction amount say I'm going to select less than 125,000 then select next are you a director or a senior officer of a publicly traded company no does not apply to me no are you a related party no I am not so I'm not a US citizen so I'm going to confirm I'm not and then select next I'm a tax resident of Jamaica so select next and then complete your reference information what is your primary purpose of investment I'm going to select cash flow management what is your investment horizon I'm going to say one to five years what is your risk tolerance I'm going to go with moderate on this page select the account that you want to open because you can open multiple accounts what investment instruments have you invested in before select all that applies to you again and then select next do you have any other investment income that you use for your current cash flow needs select whichever applies to you if I select yes I know they're gonna ask me more questions so I'm gonna select no what would you do if your investment declined 15% after six months I'd be willing to buy more would you like to set up standing instructions on your account for me no this is where you're gonna set up like a recurring buy order so I'm gonna say no who is your financial advisor you can select anyone do you agree to receive text messages as communication select yes maybe if you want to how did you hear about them social media of course then select next select yes to continue would you like to receive invitations from JN select yes why not read the terms of agreement I'm going to say yes how frequent would you like to receive your statements you can do monthly or quarterly I'm going to say monthly indicate your authority grant to JN I'm going to select full discretion and then select next but you have to select which applies to you what are your hobbies and interests I'm going to select cooking and next now it's time to upload your documents select begin first thing browse for your identification document and once you have uploaded the relevant documents select next now it's time to upload your proof of address choose file open then select next review your application information then select next so in the last step you're going to be required to do a video identification you're going to show your ID and record a video so let's begin this process so because I'm recording at the same time it wasn't able to access my camera so it says save and continue and resume from my mobile phone so I'm going to do that so I'm going to attempt to complete the process using my mobile phone so if you want to use the video then you're going to select yes to continue now it's uploading my document so my application is being submitted so my application form is currently being processed so my application was completed successfully now it is being reviewed and processed once you have submitted your application you can expect to get the account details within seven business days this will be provided to you by the financial advisor which you select or who will be assigned to you you will also be informed how to go about funding your account you will be provided with the Jane fund managers account and once you send money to that account then you will notify your financial advisor and then you can go ahead and do a funding on JTrader Pro don't worry about that we'll get into that shortly when we are doing the step by step tutorial with JTrader so the next thing we're going to do is take a look at how you can buy stocks step by step with JN but before we do that investing in stocks is more than just going on a website and purchasing stocks you have to understand the basic right to the advanced so I've completed the Jamaica stock market course which you can take on Udemy in that course you'll learn all you need to know I made the simple terms very complex so even a baby can understand it so that's definitely something you want to check out if you want to really go in depth in learning about investing in stocks which you should do you have to know what you're doing to be able to make money from the market so let's get into the JTrader tutorial 
The Jury Trader Pro website is a website where you can buy and sell stocks. You can access it by just doing a Google search and I'll also leave the link in the description below. Now once you're there, all you need to do is select sign up, complete the registration form and then select continue. Complete your permanent address. If your mailing address is the same, then you can check this box, right? And then provide your phone number and your TRN. Once you have completed the address information, select next to continue. On this page, you need to provide your username, your password, and some security questions. You will definitely need this to log into the JTrader Pro website. So this page is just a summary of all the information you provided. Once you review, you're going to select next to continue. You can download the terms and agreements and then submit your application. Now the next step from here is that you're going to get an email to activate your account. So I'm going to select continue. I already have a login so I'm just going to log in now and complete the tutorial. So once you're on so once you're in your account you'll be landed on the account overview page. So what you want to do is go to your right, select a JCSD account. You can have multiple JCSD accounts. So what you're going to do is specify your JCSD number. You can give the name a name. You can give the account any name. Then from the drop down list, select your broker. So we are going to select Jane Fund Managers Limited. And you can leave this optional for now because you can leave the amount requested for trading blank for now until your account is approved. And then you'll also select the currency which you are funding your account from because you can also have a USD account. So I'm going to cancel this because this account is already pending. Once you submit, then your account will be in a pending state. Once the account is approved, it will be shown up on this side and you'll see approved as the status. Now, the next step is just to purchase some stocks. So you're going to select the trades tab, place order, select your account, select buy stock, select the stock that you want to buy, Specify your order type. So if you go market, then you'll get it at the next price available. And for a limit, if say the stock price is at $10 per share and you want to buy it at five, then you can set a buy limit at five. So I'm gonna say buy limit. I'm going to say 30. So that would be 30 shares. And the price that I want to buy is 30. And you can set expiry date for the order. So I'm gonna say good until cancel. And then review request. So these were the fees that we previously discussed in the beginning. So you have the broker fee, the JC fee, JCSD fee, and GCT. Agree and confirm. So in order to sell a stock, all you do is repeat the process and then select sell instead of buy. Select OK. If we go back to the trades tab, we can view our orders. You also have the markets tab where you can view a summary of these stocks. You can change to the junior market, which is the smaller companies. You can also select a stock and you get to see the buying and selling queue where buyers are buying and sellers are selling. So as you can see, there is no demand for this stock right now, just a few buyers. And now you have more sellers. So this stock currently has a low volume. So you have a small amount of buyers and a small amount of sellers. And from the accounts tab, if we view account details, then we can see the funds in request, the stocks you own, and the performance tab, you can see a breakdown of your portfolio of the amount of stocks you own and the percentage they take up in your portfolio. So that's it for now guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to share this video with one friend and leave a feedback on this video.